Is it summer camp or higher ed? Those motors are going to be the purple things and the gray things, so you can spin those around, Jake. At the New England Air Museum, both fly with a hum and a whir. Windsor Locks is the launch pad for this. If I have more weight, what am I going to need? The museum's aerospace academy. Yes. Small props all around. Drone day is up and running. So right now they're practicing their maneuverability of their drones. They're practicing control. They're also practicing teamwork because they're working together to help each other get through a series of pretty complex obstacles. I like the fun of getting to fly them and learn about what they're made of and different parts about the drones. A pilot and flight instructor by trade, Captain Cat Jones is at the controls for the class. We had a little introduction about how drones work. They had a little play with one that they can twist the motors on and prod it and poke it. Having some fun, really. The Aerospace Academy happens all summer long at the New England Air Museum. There are 15 kids here today, and every Wednesday is drone day. This camp is also focused on aerospace history, flight science, uh, aerospace engineering. We introduce our campers to all different facets of aviation through hands-on learning experiences that they can't get anywhere else. And clearly, they have a flight plan here. I really like drones because it's almost like f um, flying something, but you get to control it. But yeah, this sort of opportunity is really great. Get them some hands-on like playtime with something that they could actually take forwards into a career and inspire them to get into aviation. It would be amazing. In Windsor Locks, Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.